have a nice day. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about finding a term in an arithmetic sequence. This is a grade 10 lesson for week 2 in the first quarter. And of course, after watching this video, you will be able to find any term in an arithmetic sequence. The general formula in finding any term in an arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d, where our a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, d is the common difference, and n is the number of terms or the term position. Let's have the first example. Solve for the next term of the sequence 6, 2, negative 2, negative 6, and so on. We are asked to determine the next term. We have here already the fourth term. So meaning to say, we are going to solve for the fifth term. How are we going to solve for the fifth term? First, we have to solve for the common difference. And the common difference is just equal to negative 4. So we have 2 minus 6, negative 4. Negative 2 minus 2, uh, that is also negative 4. And negative 6 minus negative 2 is also negative 4. So we have the common difference of negative 4. Next, we have to add negative 4 to negative 6. Because negative 6 is the fourth term. So negative 6 plus negative 4, that is equal to negative 10. So the fifth term is negative 10. By solution, that is, fifth term is equal to fourth term plus the common difference. So, negative 6 plus negative 4, that is equal to negative 10. So, therefore, the next term of the sequence 6 to negative 2, negative 6 is negative 10. Now let's consider the second example. Solve for the missing term of the sequence. We have a missing term, then 7, 17, 27, 37. In this example, the missing term is the first term. So how will we determine the first term? Same process, we have to solve for the common difference. And the common difference, of course, is just equal to positive 10. So how did we get positive 10? That is 17 minus 7 is 10. 27 minus 17 is also 10. 37 minus 27, that is also 10. So the common difference is 10. Now, what shall we do with the common difference? We have to subtract 10 to 7. By formula, that is, first term is equal to a sub 2 minus the common difference. So we have 7 minus 10. And 7 minus 10 is, of course, that is equal to negative 3. So therefore, the first term of the sequence 7, 17, 27, 37 is negative 3.
Now let us consider the third example. Find the tenth term of the sequence 20, 15, 10, 5, and so on. So, first we have to solve for the common difference. And the common difference is just equal to a term minus its preceding term. So we can have 15 minus 20 that is equal to negative 5. And of course, 10 minus 15 is also negative 5. 5 minus 10, that is also negative 5. So therefore, the common difference is equal to negative 5. After we have the value of the common difference, we have also to determine the value of the first term. And of course, the first term is equal to 20. Next, determine also the value of n. Why we have 10 as the value of our n? Because we are tasked to find the 10th term. Next, we have to write the general formula. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d. Next, substitute the values. So we have a sub 10 because we are looking for the 10th term. Our a sub 1 is 20 plus our n is 10 minus 1. This one is constant times d which is equal to negative 5. Remember, you have to write the parenthesis once you, the common difference is a negative number. Next, simplify further. So you just copy 20 plus quantity of 10 minus 1 that is equal to 9 multiplied by negative 5. Simplify further. Copy 20 then 9 times negative 5 of course that is negative 45. Then add 20 plus negative 45 and of course that is equal to negative 25. So we have now the value of the 10th term. So therefore the 10th term of a sequence 20, 15, 10, 5 and so on is negative 25. Now let's have the fourth example. Find the 12th term of an arithmetic sequence 1, 3 halves, 2, 5 over 2, and so on. Same process. Solve for the common difference. So the common difference is 1 half, 3 halves, minus 1, 2, minus 3 halves, 5 over 2, minus 2. Let me show to you the detailed solution of finding the common difference. Say, for example, we have the second term, 3 halves, minus 1. So this is a fraction in a whole uh, number. So just copy the denominator of a fraction. So we have here 2 in our denominator. Then we have also to copy the numerator in the fraction. So we have 3. Then for here, you can actually multiply 2 times negative 1. That is negative 2. That is the shorter method of solving fraction in a whole number like this. Now subtract 3 minus 2. Of course, the answer is 1. So we have now 1 half as our common difference. Next, determine also the value of the first term. Of course, the first term is 1. Next, we have already the value of the common difference. The value also of the 
n. And n is 12 because we are tasked to find the 12th term. Then, we are going to solve the 12th term. That is the unknown term. So, write first the general formula. Next, substitute. So, a sub 12, a sub 1 is 1 plus quantity of or n is 12 minus 1 times one half our common difference simplify further so we have to copy one then 12 minus one that is equal to 11 then you copy one half so a sub 12 is equal to copy one 11 times one half so 11 times one that is 11 copy two in our denominator so 1 plus 11 over 2 so the same process you copy the denominator of the fraction part next you have to multiply 2 times 1 that is equal to 2 and copy 11 so 2 plus 11 that is equal to 13 over 2 so the 12th term is 13 over 2 now we can conclude that the 12th term of a sequence 1 3 halves 2 5 over 2 is 13 over 2 Another example, find the fifth term of an arithmetic sequence with an initial term of 4 and a common difference of 3. Take note, we have here initial term and common difference. So for our solution, of course, we have to determine the first term. Based on the problem, the initial term is 4. That is why we have here 4. Next, the common difference also given, we have 3. Then, n is equal to 5 because you are tasked to determine the fifth term. So, we have to write also the formula first. We have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times t. Next, substitute 4 plus quantity of 5 minus 1 times 3. Simplify further. Copy 4, 5 minus 1, that is equal to 4. Then, bring down 3. Finally, we have to copy 4. 4 times 3, that is equal to 12. 4 plus 12 is 16. So, therefore, the fifth term of a sequence with first term is equal to 4 and common difference of 3 is... 16. Next, let's have a worded problem and application of finding the end term. Joey's company offers a starting yearly salary of 250,000 pesos with raises of 20,000 pesos per year. What will be his salary on the 8th year? A problem like this is an example of an application for solving for an eighth term. So how will we solve this problem? Of course, you have to determine first the first term. And of course, the first term is 250,000 because that is the starting salary that is offered by the company. Next, the common difference is 20,000 the races per year and of course our n is equal to 8 because we are tasked to find the salary of joey in the 8th year so by formula we have a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times d next substitute a sub 1 is 250,000 plus Quantity of 8 minus 1 times 20,000. 
Simplify further, that is 250,000, just copy. So 8 minus 1, that is equal to 7. Copy, 20,000. Then simplify further. Copy 250,000 plus 7 times 20,000 is 140,000. And add 250,000 plus 140,000, that is equal to 390,000. And in our conclusion, do not forget to write the unit. So therefore, 390,000 pesos will be the salary of Joey on the 8th tier. Okay, so hopefully you learn something for our lesson today. Before I end, let me share to you the verse in the Bible. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Proverbs 9 verse 10. Thank you for watching guys. Kindly share it to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to be updated.